Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. I'm your host, Siren Frost. And today we're going to be finishing deck profile weekly with the deck profile number two. <clears throat> so my voice is a little bit better than earlier today, so I should be able to do this video with no problems. I hope. If not, then we know we tried, right? <clears throat> but anyways, in this last video for deck profile weekly, we're going to be doing the Chrono Jet Dragon deck. From then... Oh, for the fuck is this crap? It's a Chrono Jet Stride deck list. Um, it's this guy. <clears throat> Sorry, that sounds really dumb, but... It's the best way to just know which collection is which. So, um... This deck holds, um, some resentment. Because this is the deck that I usually get beaten a lot. And Chrono Jet is just an OP, OP kind of deck. Even from the original series. And I strongly hate it so damn much. I really do. Mm. But since it is the Indie series, we'll pay its respects by just doing the damn video. But it's going to be okay because I actually do like this deck. You know, it's, it's starting to grow on me a little bit, but not completely. Sorry, but Alter Ego Messiah still one of the better stride decks to me in my eyes. Just saying. <clears throat> Anyways, this deck is actually inspired by Chrono Shindo from Vanguard G. So without any further ado, let's hop right into the video and then do the right line first. So we got Chrono Jan for grade 0, Mesa Gear Dragon for grade 1. With its skill, when this unit is placed by writing from Chrono Dran, draw a card, and you get a Chrono Dragon Crest. And for some reason, this card right here is really grossly overpriced, personally. I'm just saying. The next one we have is Smoke Gear Dragon. And finally, for Grade, uh, grade 3, we got the main boss himself, which is Chrono Jet Dragon. Um, so if I'm not mistaken, this is the same Chrono, Dr Chrono Dragon, um, Chrono Dragon, that appeared in the very first trial decks of G format. So it does have the same abilities, same effects, um, stride cost, everything. So that's the light, the little shin thing to come with gigs, pretty much so. But yeah, so if you're all familiar with Chrono Shindo's Chrono Jet Dragon, I won't have to say too much about it. But that is the confirmed right line for this deck. Give me one second, you guys. I need a drink. Mama needs a drink. God damn. Okay. Oh, that was embarrassing. <clears throat> okay. <laughs> I think we're good. Okay. So now for the main deck, we got triggers first. So we're playing two copies of Steam Scar and Mon Legal. I'll be honest with you, I'd rather have the new um, heal triggers that came in just in set 9 from this last set. Because even if you're on grade, grade 1 or grade 2... And if your opponent's on a grade 3 or um, a grade higher than that, then you still get a 10,000 boost from the shield. So that, to me alone, is still a pretty damn good thing to have. But I can't find any more, so it sucks. Um, so, of course, we're also playing, we're playing Brilliant Floral Ur Urana. And we also got Incorruptible Holy Light Ufa. For our hill triggers. And we also have two copies of Ruse Brown Master Riley. Now I know you all want me to max out this to four because draws, criticals, and heals make the best decks possible out there, supposedly. But the way I see it, front triggers can do the same thing too. And I'll be honest, excuse me. I prefer front sometimes over draws. Because if your hand's okay, fronts are okay. And your rear guards are also okay. That's just my opinion right there. 
For critical wise, I'm playing seven crits, so I'm playing three li uh, lively breath dragons. Four um, stem divian dragons. Two copies of Diablo's Girls and Talia's for fronts. And one Gagma held for the over trigger. And I was actually quite shocked they actually include over triggers like this one in the deck stride deck lists for Chrono Jet Dragon and Alter Ego Messiah. And I'll bet you anything they're going to do the same thing for the next uh, stride, the start decks. No barbie you getting. <coughs> so, awesome sauce right there. Now, this deck doesn't need too much um, grade one um, stuffies. But here's what I gotten so far, just from a few inspirations from other decks that say this is a good one, bad one, what the fuck ever. So I'm playing four copies of Steam Scara GG. Now, GG is one of the first few cards that is meant for Grand Jet. <coughs> but here's a cat, the kicker. When this unit is placed on rear guard, if you have a Chrono Jet Dragon, Crest. So blast two cards, draw a card, and if this unit was placed by your, by your card's ability, this unit gets 5,000 power at the end of the turn. Now, you don't have to activate that last effect. You can still use the last two effects, or the first effect. And that's it, pretty much. Mmm. <clears throat> Moving on, we're also playing four copies of Steam Breath Dragon. Now, back then, this used to be, this is the Stride Fodder. <laughs> and this, well, but this came in a little bit more, uh, a better hand. It had the fact, while you're paying the cost for a stride, this, this card may be count, this card as a grade three. Active skill. If you are if you're a Chrono Jet Dragon Crust, discard a card from your, discard this card. Surge your deck for up to, or drop for up to one grade three card with Chrono Jet in its card name. Reveal it and put it in your hand. And if you search your deck, shuffle it. The next one we're playing is three copies of um, Gear Sorrow of Magnetic uh, Renaissance. So I'm playing three of this little guy. And basically, its skill is. During your turn, if any player's uh, rear guard was put into the bottom of their deck this turn, add 5,000 power to this attack. Duration break 1. When this unit this unit gets intercept, it can in intercept from the back row. So I think, personally, that's a good card to have. Next, we have the Nullifier that's a classic Steam Maiden Arlium. Arlium. And then, one copy... Of elementary as Sanctitude. And much like the grade ones, we're also playing not many great, not many. Grade twos in this deck, so eight eight grade twos we have. The first one we have is four copies of un unstreamed dragon, and its ability is charge and break one. When this unit attacks a vanguard, this unit gets five k power into that battle. At the end of battle, put this unit on the bottom of your deck. Search your deck for up to one great card. Call it to the back row and shuffle your deck. So. It does the effect of time, uh, time leap. And that's what it kind of does for its main mechanic. The last one we have is four copies of Term Fracture Dragon. And this card, his ability is, when this unit attacks hits the vanguard, you may draw a card. If you drew a card, choose a card from your hand and put it into your soul. Mmm. So there you go. Mm. I 
layers of ice up of the, of the roof. Not a good sign, of course. <coughs> now for the final grade threes, we are playing seven grade threes in this deck. We are playing three copies of Chrono Jet Dragon for the Persona Riot ability and Stride and all the Shindigs. And then we're also playing another classic, Steam Fighter Bolyath. And basically what Bolyath kind of does now for Judgment Break 2, for Dream Break 2, you, during your turn, if any player's rear guard was put to the bottom of your deck, this turn at, at 10,000 to his attack. <coughs> to his power, sorry. When this card is discarded for, from a hand for the cause of stride, draw one card. So, it helps you out get you a stride cost. It also helps you draw a card. And it does get 5k power whenever a card goes to the bottom of your deck. So, there you go. That was the main deck. Now, the the G deck, which is the only one we have right now, we're playing four copies of Colonel Dragon Next Stage. And basically what this card does is... <clears throat> what basically what's the main effect is, at the end of the battle, this, this unit attacked the Vanguard, Counterblast one. Discard two cards from your hand. Put this. Put this in your G zone. Face up. Choose one of your vanguards with Girl Jet. Its card name and stand it. So this is the best card to play last at the last ditch effort. And the next card we have is four copies of Interdimensional Dragon, Fate Rider Dragon, and basically what this card does is Vanguard skill when this unit hit attacks. S Ugh, counter blast one. And a card a draw card from G Zone. Face up and put a rear guard on the bottom of your deck. Okay, I kinda screwed I kinda screwed that one up, so my bad. Search your deck for up to one unit card with grade with grade plus one from the card to put in the bottom of your deck for this cost. Call to rear guard. And shuffle your deck. Choose one of your units and it gets 5,000 power turned in turn for each face up card in your G zone. So that's just 10,000 power. Um, yeah, 5,000 right there. So there you go. <coughs> and also, we have the very first Corona Jet Dragon, the Crest. So that's what it looks like right here. And I'm just going to go ahead and read it when it says. So, continuous effect. You can perform stride and cannot ride grade 3 or greater cards without chronogens in their card names. The original power of your grade 3 cards with chronogens in their card names becomes 13,000. During your turn, if you have a grade 3 or greater Vanguard with Chrono Jet in its card name, all your front row units get plus 5,000 power for each face of card in your G zone. At the beginning of your battle phase, choose up to one card from your grade 3 of your grade 3 or greater rear guards and increase or decrease its grade to 0 to 0 until the end of the turn. Okay, I don't know if I can use that last effect. But that sounds kind of cheesy. But yes, you guys, that concludes the deck profile um, debut, pretty much, for this deck right here. I know it's a little gut-wrenching to hear my voice. I'm so sorry about that. Not my intention. But I hope you all can forgive me. Anyways, I hope you all have an amazing day, amazing time, an amazing week. Um... Three days ago, I just had a birthday, so I'm 34 years old right now, currently. <clears throat> I'm going to do whatever I can to get a little better from this stupid cold. I know I had it for a while. Um, I'm pretty sure by the next two weeks, it might get increasingly get better, I hope. Um, one can only pray. Anyways, you guys, have a good day. Be safe out there. Make good choices. And don't let, ever let anyone tell you how to do your, do your Vanguard. As your host, as always, you guys, I've been your host, Siren Frost. 
Signing out.